So today's our last day in Langkawi, and we are gonna explore the island some more, go to the beach, go to some tomb thing, Anna, what is it again? Masori tomb. Masori tomb or something. We're gonna go explore that and learn about that. First, we wanna show you guys our Airbnb. For us, we like to find something valuable for the money we're spending. For Airbnbs, for accommodation, we've been trying to stick around $15 a night. We do know that islands typically run a little more for Airbnb, especially if you want one as nice as this one. And now we're gonna show you why this has been one of our favorite Airbnbs ever. This is our balcony. It's huge. There's our washing machine that we got to use for free. You get this whole balcony. It's all ours. It's so nice. I edit out here at night too. Very nice. There's another room that people can share downstairs. But since it's rainy season, there's not a lot of people here. Technically, you could be sharing the house with another guest, but we are not. Massive room. We've never had a room this big in an Airbnb before. A king size bed. Sorry for the mess. Our own bathroom, which is so important because I pee like three times in the middle of the night and lately we've been having like hostels where the restroom is outside, you know, across the hall or something. That just gets to be really hard for me. And this is the shower. It comes with shampoo, really warm, warm shower. Oh, the hottest ever. Hottest ever and a toilet. Nice air con, of like, course. Look at how fancy these are. These lights, they're so neat. Oh, we're very sad that we have to leave though. God, we hate leaving places. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. So we come down here every day, and this is our house. It's literally, it feels like our house. Yeah, this is a fridge, obviously. We get hot water here. He had two things of filtered water and like an Instant Pot if you want to cook. That is crazy. If you want to check out this Airbnb, it'll be in a link down in the description below. We really suggest that you reach out to the owner and ask for the top floor because that's where we got and it's so nice. Now we're going to check out the outside real quick. Okay, and then this is where we store um, our motorbike for the night and it's gated. This place runs you about 20 four dollars a night with the services on Airbnb. If you haven't seen the video where we went up to Blankowie's cable car in Skybridge, check it out above. You could also see Anna wiping out right here outside on the motorbike. All right, getting ready to head out. Let's go. just arrived at Masori tomb. I think that's how you pronounce it. Masori was a princess who was very beautiful. She was married and her husband went off to war and her mother-in-law was so jealous of her beauty that she accused Masori of adultery and then all the people um, found her guilty and killed her and stabbed her to death. As they were stabbing her she bled white blood which proved her innocence. We didn't even look up the price before coming here, but it ended up being 17 RM per person. Quite surprising, but it's only $4 USD, so we're excited to learn. Here we go. There's no camera allowed in here, but for some reason no one's around to tell me no, so we're doing it. So right here, as you can see, Masuri was tied to a tree and stabbed with knives. She was put to death. She admitted she could only be killed by the family Karis, her dad's family like knife, says that various narrations of the execution of Missouri have been told through generations. They said that the variations are very, very slightly different. Of course, just changing one little detail here and there in each story. All of this jewelry is believed to be worn during the Missouri era. Look at how like withered that barrette is. You get the crown. The bottom one is the actual one. Believed to be warm. I think the top is more of a replica made. We're very lucky to live in a world where you don't get murdered for stupid stuff, like looking pretty or even cheating. Really, really quick stop here at Missouri Tomb. Learned a little bit. We're gonna head to Tanjong Ru Beach. It's a little bit up north, about 25 minutes, and hopefully the sun comes out. Very sad. Wow, wow, wow. We just got to Tanjong Ru Beach and it is beautiful. It might be because we're in the north, but it's way more blue skies here. Because down south where we were, it was about to rain. So, about the sand. The sand isn't nearly as nice as Pantai Coke where we were yesterday. That is because we learned in the YouTube comments that Pantai Coke is a man-made beach. No wonder the sand was unreal. Really beautiful, it looks like Thailand. Yeah, it really does. We're so close to Thailand right now. We're yeah. at the border. Makes total sense. We haven't really had a day to chill on this island. One of our favorite things to do is hang out on beautiful, beautiful beaches like this. Sadly, this place is duty-free and we haven't had any alcohol. No, I'm good with vodka, guys. 
You wanna send me some vodka, I'll drink it. Once again, Thailand creeps back into our life. We got a Chang right here, classic. This is what we always drank in Thailand. This was $2, 9RM, so a bit pricey, because in Thailand you can get double or even triple for the same price. I think they have a monopoly going on back there, because there's only one bar. It's kind of a touristy beach, so they know what to do. The water's nice and cool. Who's gonna go down first, though? What do you mean who's gonna go down first? Me. I win. That's the game. Baby shark, you do 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 baby shark, you do. <laughs> He's gonna grab that shit, dude. He's gonna grab that shit. Okay, I'm leaving. He did not like that. Bye bye. The cool thing about right here is that there's a bunch of trees and then there's the water. Yeah, it's like a forest on the water. It's really cool. Honest opinion, I think Pantai Coke and Pantai Chenang are hands down way better. I think Pantai Coke is the best. I know it's a man-made beach, but it, no one's on it. Everyone thinks it's private. It is beautiful. So if it was up to me, I would stay in the south compared to up here in the north. Before we move on to our next adventure, we need to eat lunch. We stopped at the first place we saw right out of the beach and everything looks amazing and it's super affordable. I ordered a burger for us to try. Ian was a little skeptical because it's only a dollar. Nothing more American than a burger after a day at the beach. <laughs> it's a little sketch. We have to try it though. And what are, what are your first thoughts? There's a great deal of mayonnaise on here. Ian hates mayonnaise. It doesn't taste anything like a burger at all. Oh gosh. I mean, it's not bad. This is the meat. It was very sweet. Almost like it had like a coating on it. We're giving it a thumbs down. Thumbs down for we sure. We can't. We can't even finish soggy it. Soggy bun. That's one thing you never do. It's a soggy bun. The burger should have been a giveaway because this is the worst meal we've ever had in Malaysia. All right, not the best food, but hey, we still got more food tonight. We're gonna head to a waterfall that's close by, so today's been nice and relaxing. Now it's time to adventure a little bit. Let's do it. So we're right outside the waterfall. We're about to walk up, but look at this blowfish. I have to show you. No way this is real. Look at that thing. I wonder if it smells pretty bad here. I know it's a bad joke, guys, but durian's <laughs> a smelly fruit. I got that one. We don't really know why we came to the waterfall. It was just kind of on our way home, and we had time to do something else. This is cool. Oh, it's raining. Gosh dang it. Every time we get to a waterfall. Here's the way up to the waterfall. Look at this. Right when we show up. Good old monsoon season style. Helmets are upside down again, just like the last waterfall. Here we go. We always get stuck in a rainstorm around 1, 2, or 3 p.m. here. That's why you get up early, guys. That's why you get up early. This is a cool staircase. Anna said we're in Bali. Bali. I think we knocked this waterfall a little too soon before we got here. Don't judge a book by its name, like Durian. This one is insane. It's more jungle vibey than the Seven Wells one, and it's more powerful. A lot of water here. <laughs> A lot of water here, like Anna said. This is amazing. Just gotta take in the natural beauty. We would swim here, but I truly believe you would just die. We're a little exhausted and ready to head back to our place. Anna, give me a whoop whoop for the waterfall. <laughs> All right, guys, check out Ian's helmet. There's the puddle. This is what happens when you come back, when you leave your helmet upright. Oh, gross. Now put it on. <laughs> you don't. That's like Bizwas would be so proud of us from Kuching. We're at an Indian restaurant right now getting naan and tandoori. One of our favorite Indian dishes is the naan. We got a garlic naan and a butter naan. And our second favorite dish, tandoori, chicken tandoori. Bizwas tells us to eat this before anything else, but we're breaking the rules. Too late, I'm hungry. This stuff is so good. The best sauces too, and then you get some onion action right here. Just dip it in everything. If you're looking for very, very good Indian cuisine, I'm gonna put the geotag down in the description below. Please just come here. It's My mouth's on fire, but it's really good spice. It's a spice that gets right under your eyes and it's so tasty. All right, if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. Anna and I are packing up right now and we're about to head out to Kuala Lumpur for a couple of days. We'll see you in the next one. Yip, 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 yip.